What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Cesar, and we are talking about six different stocks today. We're going over JD for Navi, S O U N, and PLTR for Honcho, PayPal for Navi as well, and then BB and VMEO for Dickcock. Yes, that's his name or her name. You never know, man. It's 2024. A female can be Dickcock, right? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. We're getting political. I didn't mean to, but might not even be political maybe it's philosophical but but bottom to top here on JD you you held your 886 area you kind of went a little bit below it but that's that's actually a really nice bottom not gonna lie you've got like a spinning top right here uh, it's kind of not a spinning top but seeing this very bearish candle met with like a doji right here and then moving up like this I, I forget what that's called they call that that would be like a falling star no what do they call that there's a name for this. I can't think of what it is. I'm not going to look it up right now, but that's a very, very bullish uh, monthly engulfing candle. You still have 14 days left, so let's, or I guess 15 days left, so let's see how it goes. But that's a productive looking week, the RSI, bro. I like the volume. I think you want to go up, JD. Yeah, you're going to go up back to your 618, bro. At least to your 69. $33 to $37 is on the horizon. Now, could you move down first? Sure, you're at your 786. You could move down. Maybe you go back to your 886, maybe you at $28, maybe you move to $23, and then you move up. Maybe just, I mean, you did technically close above your 786. Everything looks looks good to me, man. I'm going to say if you move down from here, it's not going to be significant. I don't think you actually move back that low. Maybe you move back to $26. You're at $28 now. Not even, yeah, maybe about $26. But inevitably, I think you're moving up to 30 just under 33 to just over 37 and probably closer to that 37 area and then beyond probably beyond after that but uh that's my thoughts man yeah looking good i, I really like this weekly look a lot um I, I really really do yeah let's see let's take a uh a look at it like this from top to bottom 30, 39, yeah, somewhere in there. I take it, I'll raise it up from 37, we're going to $39, man. Yep, probably going up to $39. In the more immediate term, look for resistance around that $30 area. You could break above it, find support, and then move up to your uh, $39 area or $40. It's very common that you actually break above that on your first pass, but uh, this is on a weekly, so it'll take probably, being that it's a stock, you're not open 24 seven, it'll probably take a couple months to get up there or more. But you look good. I think that's your low. I think you're moving up higher. Yeah. Remains to be seen because you still have uh, you still have all these lower highs coming in. Up here would still just be a lower high, but I got a good feeling. It's a nice volume profile, in my opinion. S O U N Sound Hound. Moving up, you're at forty seven point six percent. Forty seven point six percent this week, bro. Look at you go. At your one fort, dude, looking. That's why is everything doing this? <laughs> it's like across the board, it's crypto or stocks. It's very normal to hit your expected area and pull back to your 886, but you guys, you're, they're not doing it. They're just, they're holding support at their 100. It's more, in my opinion, it's more common to see the 886, but as of late, it's been, it's definitely like out of most charts I've seen, it's like eight out of 10 of them actually find support at their 100 level. Um, which is fine, whatever. But that's that's just a personality trait I've noticed of the charts lately. Um, you're at your 1414. The week is still young. I think you go higher. I think you're going up to $11. You're at 865 now. See you at $11. If you pull back from here, it's going to get eaten up and you're going to go up higher, man. You could go all the way up to $15. But you're not stopping until you hit $11. At least <clears throat> If you pull back from here, you're going back to $7 and then up. That's It's not going to be sustained to the downside, in my opinion. You have more to go. More to go. And then maybe next week you start moving down, if not the week after. You probably find your high either this week or next week is what I'm trying to say. And I think that would be around $11. Potentially, I'll leave it at $15. But uh looks really good. This looks really good. And it probably, once it pulls back from there, it will probably exceed to new all-time highs. But... uh as in like in time, probably by the end of this year, you will probably see 2450 is, is my genuine opinion or higher. It looks good. It looks really good. Um, I wouldn't buy here personally. I would wait for a potential pullback to a dollar lower if it comes. <clears throat> and if it doesn't come, 
you go all the way up to $15, wait for that pullback. You can buy maybe at these levels, maybe a little higher, maybe a little lower, but at least you're buying on a pullback and you're more convicted in your beliefs there. Uh, I like it though. It looks good for immediate continuation up. And I say that tomorrow it could move down, but really I think you're moving up to that like $11 area, if not $15 area, before you, uh, you see any kind of significant turbulence. Um, top to bottom, 618, double tap, bounce off the five. Something like this, I would expect you find resistance here. You probably find resistance at like 29 to 35, $36, somewhere in that area. And you probably would pull back to your 618. If you can hold that, cool, then we're going up here. If you can't hold that, then oh no, you're going back down here. You might even go back down here. You might even go to new lows. So you probably do find resistance here. There's really not much you can do about that in my opinion. I think that you're going to, I mean, you could just break straight through, but finding resistance twice on your 618 like this, it's not, it's not conducive for extensions to be hit immediately. So what you want to see is now an area that you found resistance on before, come back and find support after finding areas that would be regularly expected as resistance when navigating the way that you are right now. So I think 29 to $36, somewhere in that area, that's where you're going to find resistance. You're moving up there for now. It looks good for now. Uh, but then, then back down, hopefully you hold that 20 to $24 area. And if you do, we'll see it at $78 to $100 to $157, man, given time, given time, probably sometime next year. But uh, if, if that's to happen, um, I don't mind the weekly RSI. I don't mind the daily RSI. Yeah, I, th I think you do. I think you want to move up. I very much do. It's, it, it makes sense with the way the fibs look, but uh, at least to 29, if not potentially all the way up to $36. Yeah, PLTR. Looking good for the more immediate term, but you have some proving to do afterwards, okay? And if not, if you just break straight through this, if you can close above the 886 for multiple days, and if you can close a week above it too, or multiple weeks above it, that'd be really nice. But uh that would convince me that you don't need to pull back to your 618, but but I'm not convinced of that yet. It's it's very normal behavior after seeing this to reject in this zone, pull back to your 618, and then find support or go through it. So and that's 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 literally an or, right? You have like a 50-50 chance at that point. I'm not convinced that you deserve new all-time highs yet. Just because I said that, just because it's on the table, does not mean that it's that it's a likelihood, right? You, you will find a likelihood if you find support on the 618, or if you can get multiple weeks or multiple. I would like to see multiple weeks, but several days closing above thirty-six dollars above the eight eight six would be nice. Not even thirty-six dollars, but the eight eight six at thirty-five seventy-one. But that's that's PLTR. I hope that all makes sense. I just let it all out really fast there for you. PayPal. I think PayPal. I was very bearish on, <clears throat> if I remember in my last videos, if if I remember correctly, and I think I do. Let's see. Yeah, that's not a good look, bro. That's right. I do this every time. I've done this in every video I've had with PayPal. I feel like I'm an amnesiast. Bullish divergence. Insane bullish divergence on your monthly. But to be fair, you also have very strong hidden bearish divergence with these higher highs coming in while promoting lower highs. I don't like it. I think you want to go back down to new all-time lows. If not, find a double bottom or something. Yeah, man, if this was upside down, if you were finding higher lows while finding lower lows, that would be bullish. But you're finding lower highs while finding higher highs. I don't like it. Look at how much time you're spending below your 50 versus above your 50. And sure, you're above your 50 now, but you're at an area where I would expect you to reject. You're at an area where you'd have lower highs. You're at your 6.9. Like, it all makes sense. I doubt you go higher. If, if you go higher, it's going to be – you're at $62. You're not going to go higher than $66 in my opinion. You have lower to go. We'll see you at the 886 at about $39, man. $39.50, $39, dollars something like that. <clears throat> oh, yeah, if not lower. But you could, I mean, you could first find support somewhere in between, you know, just continue to wig wag your way down there. I don't like the look of it though, man. It had a productive look to it, and it's it's proven to not be productive at all. So um, yeah, PayPal. Inevitably, we'll see prices around 39.50, if not lower, man. You might be on a trajectory that sends you to new lows. Still got decent volume coming in. Wait for that volume to die off. Once it dies off, once your price kind of rounds out, that's when you know that you're getting ready to turn around. And I drew it like that to be optimistic, but it really could. Who knows? Who knows what it does? But I don't like it. 
if it goes up from here, not by much. If it goes down from here, um, definitely more than it would go up from here. So PYPL. BB. Black Berry Limited. Oh my goodness, man. I remember this thing. It's still a company, huh? They still exist. Man, I remember talking with one of my buddies about this back in, uh, it wasn't 2020. Maybe it was 2020. Maybe it was. Oh, I forget, man. Maybe it was, it was 2019 or tw it was somewhere in this time frame. I think it was back here, man. I think it was. It was like during this move. And it dumped ass. Either that or it was around here. Anyways, um, it's been a while since I've looked at this chart. I don't like it though. I don't like it at all. You're gonna see new lows from here. Uh, maybe not new lows, but new new relative lows. Yeah, you're going down. Let's see how low you're going. You could hold a dollar forty-two, but that's where you're going probably. Maybe you go up from here, you're at 312, maybe you go up to 354, but you're going to $1.42. If not, potentially lower than that. You might see new all-time all -time lows from this move. And I, I really wouldn't put it past it with this thing. It's a piece of crap, in my opinion. Good chart for shorting. Watch it go to 354 first and then move down, though. But maybe it turns around immediately from here. Who knows? Get a rejection off that 50. That would look great. The weekly RSI looks bad. Monthly RSI looks bad. Daily RSI um, is momentarily bullish, but also looks bad. Higher highs with lower highs, not a good look, man. We'll see you at $1.42 given time, months to come. Yeah, I don't like it. I would stay away or short the hell out of it. VMEO. <clears throat> By the way, for anybody that's been doing investing and or trading for less than like really less than three years, but I, if I really had to say it, I'd say less than five years. You just you shouldn't be doing margin. You shouldn't stay away from it, man. If you want to do it, do it with like a hundred bucks. Do it with a very small amount that you can afford to lose everything, and then on your next paycheck, if you want to put that same amount in, you can. If you want to continue to to gamble, because that's essentially even the pros. It's it's like sophisticated gambling. Whenever you're a pro at it, whenever you've had more time, you're more you're more experienced with it. Um, and even the pros lose money, man. So, so you being five years or less or three years or less, don't use money that's significant, man. Really don't. Unless you can get proven results, unless you're one of the few people who, if there are people who are good at it um, from the start who aren't just lucky, but I, I would, man, I would, I would stay away from leverage trading. Nonetheless, though, uh, BlackBerry might be a good one to short on the long term. <laughs> Anyways. This one has a different story. Vimo, accumulation phase of a lifetime. Looking like you're breaking now. Doing a nice little move here. Oh, yeah, it is. I think you want to go higher. Let's look at this a little bit more. Oh, yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. You want to go up to 738? You're at 541 right now. I think so. Top to bottom. 650, 738, man. Right there, your 1886. Hey, hey. Yeah. Hit your 1272, pulled all the way back to your 886. Is that how it went down? Yes, it did. That's a beautiful look, man. Yeah. Yep. You want to go deeper? I mean, you're good till at least 590, but I think 738 sounds about right to me, man. That's where you're gonna go, and that's it, guys. That's all I got. That's all I got for you. I'm bullish on this one for sure. It's like the anti pay, uh, BB. It's the anti BB and the anti PayPal. Um, if you guys like the video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you all for coming. I will see you on the next one. When I say like button, that's the thumbs up button. On the, it's like the like. I like this. You know, like hit hit that button if you like it. If not, that's gonna make me sad. So I, I prefer I prefer to be happy. But if you're so hellbent on seeing me sad, I just, you know, don't hit that like button, I guess. I don't know. Anyways, take care, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.